as is the way we look at a battle between two flagship devices. It's Joshua Gar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And here we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and the iPhone 5 in a quick look. <laughs> It should be almost painfully obvious the differences between these devices. While the iPhone 5 is Apple's current flagship that is soon to be updated, the Galaxy Note 3 is the behemoth that has just been announced. It's a 4 inch 1136 by 640 resolution IPS screen up against a 5.7 inch 1080p Super AMOLED monster, with matching smaller or bigger bodies to match. For display experience, you should pretty much know off the bat if you want that larger screen for a much better media display or if the smaller iPhone screen is good enough for your needs. In the case of the iPhone 5, it's a smaller stature that makes it incredibly easy to handle while the Note 3 pretty much always requires two hands, especially when considering the S Pen. The metal body of Apple's phone has always been well received, but Samsung is finally moving from its glossy plastic and has moved to a textured plastic that honestly feels and looks much better. It seriously comes down to your comfort level, but with the Note being pretty consistently popular, maybe size doesn't matter quite as much as it used to. Under the hood, we have completely different packages powering different ecosystems. While the dual-core 1.3GHz Apple A6 does pale in comparison to the 2.3GHz Snapdragon 800 and the Galaxy Note 3, they are also catered towards different demands. The iOS ecosystem doesn't too often require the craziest specs, and in the case of the Note 3, its multitasking abilities are so much more robust that a more powerful package is pretty much required, like a boost up to 3GB of RAM. The cameras are another story of size as the 8 megapixel optics in the iPhone perform very well with good consistent pictures, but is very limited in its app. You don't have nearly as many options as the Note 3 camera, which has everything from drama modes to even a golf mode. Quality is a subjective matter, but this Note 3 camera, which is basically the well-received S4 camera, has been able to keep up with the iPhone's optics quite well. And finally, we'll look at the software a little, in which the Note 3 has again a ton of options compared to the iPhone 5. As iOS focuses on icons and folders in lieu of widgets on the home screens, it also doesn't have the multitasking power of the Note 3. Especially with the S Pen, you can do so much on the Note 3 that have to do with note taking or multiple app using or even having small app overlays over your screen. There is no doubt that the Note 3 offers a ton, but for some, it might be too much. And perhaps the simpler but still powerful operation of iOS is just enough for the many people who still use the iPhone. And so, there you have it. A very quick look at a couple flagship phones, perhaps more as an exercise in realizing that Apple needs a pretty substantial upgrade to its smartphone, which is soon to happen. For now, these are the flagships we have to compare, and we'll see what Apple has in store for its next iPhone iteration to keep up with what Samsung and Android have to offer. We have more on the Galaxy Note 3, so stay tuned to Android Authority, your source for all things Android.